It's a new season and I am ready to get my coffee bar decorated. So stay tuned so you can see how it turns out. Hey my friends, welcome back to my channel. It's time to start decorating for spring. As you can see right here, I have a lot of my spring decor out and ready to put into place. But as usual, the first thing I'm gonna do is decorate my coffee bar. And I also wanna tell you that today is part of my monthly collab that I co-host every month with a different theme. The theme for this month is Spring Things. And my co-host is Christy from Christy's Farmhouse. You will love her channel. I'm gonna leave her link as well as a link to the playlist of all the creators that are taking part in this collaboration. Now, it's not just gonna be home decor. You're gonna get some cooking ideas, maybe some more home decor ideas, maybe some shopping hauls. So you don't know what you're gonna get. So make sure you check out that playlist. But for now, let's go ahead and get my coffee bar decorated for spring. Before I get started with any new decor, of course I need to clean the area. I wiped everything down real good and I even descaled my coffee maker. I am gonna try to use this tear tray. I love this tear tray and I used it in my other house, but it's too tall for to go underneath this cabinet so i'm going to try it out on the side i need to fill that corner space so i'm going to use a lantern but it's a little too short so i have a little um, stand or pedestal that i'm going to set it on and it's just the right height and it fills up this corner really nicely so that the tear tray being on the side doesn't really look too weird. I'm gonna go ahead and start decorating the top tier of the tiered tray, and I'm gonna use this. I can't remember, I think I may have gotten this from Dollar Tree at some point. So I'm gonna use this in the back. I like the height of it. I got this cute little nest at the 90% off sale of Hobby Lobby last season, so it ended up being less than a dollar. I love to get my seasonal decor when it's 90% off. I also got this cute stuffed little bunny rabbit and I hate that you can't see the back so you can see his little cotton tail. Now I'm gonna move to the lower level and this is something that I got from another area of my house and I have it in this cute little wicker basket. I like the different textures that I'm using on the tear tray with the metal and the cloth and the wicker. I have another one of those little bunnies that I'm gonna use on this side. And then I found this really cute blue kind of basket. I think I may have gotten it from Hobby Lobby several years ago. And I actually just found it while I was looking for something else. So I figured I would use it. I'm gonna use it by putting some sprigs of different florals that I have from Dollar Tree. I'm pretty sure all of the florals that I use came from Dollar Tree, but I'm gonna put a couple of those in there. Then I have these really cute carrots. I got a carrot garland from Hobby Lobby during their clearance last year. And I didn't like the way it looked as a garland, so I just pulled all the little carrots off. So now I have a bunch of cute little burlap carrots to use in my decor. Then I have this very cute little egg tin that I also got from Hobby Lobby, paid less than a dollar for it. And I'm gonna use it to finish out this bottom layer of my tear tray. Now I just need to sort of fill in that space where the pedestal is. So I'm gonna use this adorable little rabbit. I don't even know what it's really made of, but I got it from Hobby Lobby for on 90% off, so I'm using that. 
Now, these are some milk glass kind of jars that I got from Dollar Tree. And I just painted them in spring colors. I kind of wish I would have used a light yellow instead of the white, but you know, I didn't have yellow, so I just used what I had. And I have a bunch of Dollar Tree sprigs, floral sprigs, and I'm just gonna use those to fill these jars. If you like anything you've seen so far, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Any kind of interaction you give me on my channel really does help me out with YouTube. And if you're new to my channel and you like this sort of content, whether it's home decor, meal ideas, shopping hauls, then go ahead and click that subscribe button as well and click the notification so you don't miss any of my videos. And I'm just gonna put these three bottles in the window and that's gonna be it for the window decor. I know I've used a lot of bigger stuff in the center, but I can't keep putting Christmas trees up. But anyway, I'm gonna use these two, same two little wooden, um, I don't know what you call these. Let me know what you call them in the comments. But anyway, I use these in my Valentine coffee bar decor video. And I really like the setup. So I am going to put my cane sugar as well as hot chocolate. Yes, we still have hot chocolate. Um, it kind of, my house kind of stays cold. But anyway, we just like having hot chocolate. And then I'm gonna put on each side of those, same, pretty much same setup as my Valentine um, video with my syrups in the beautiful bottles. And then I got these three bottles as a trio at Target, either last year or the year before, and I put more of those Dollar Tree sprigs in that, and that just kind of decorates this little setup. Now we're moving on to where I keep my coffee pot, and I pretty much keep it in this basket all year round but I did in my Easter decor stash, I found this cute little jar, which I don't think I've used before to put stuff actually in it. So since I have some marshmallows left, I'm gonna go ahead and use this cute little jar for the marshmallows. And it turns out that there is just enough marshmallows for the jar and there was enough room where I could put the little wooden scoop in it and close it up and that worked out perfectly. Do you have a stash of floral stems? My stash is not really, um, I guess I could say I'm a beginner stems stasher, but I took what I could find that looks semi springish and I got this cute little bottle from Target last year or the year before. So I thought since it was pink, it would go well with the Easter theme and the flowers are, you know, white and yellow, so that's springy. And then I have this cute little um, piece of art that I got from Hobby Lobby. Again, 90% clearance. Most of the time, like I said, I don't get home decor for seasons unless I'm buying it at the end of the season. But I'm just gonna put the remaining collagen and the honey and I'm gonna um, keep that where it is. And then I have one last little nest that I got from Hobby Lobby, and this is a smaller one, so I probably paid maybe 50 cents for it on clearance, but I just thought it was cute, and it actually fits perfectly in the space. And here's the before and the after. I think it turned out really cute. I was concerned about the tear tray being kind of off from the corner, but I really like the way it looks. I'm pleased with the way the, tra the coffee station tray looks, and I don't mind that I don't have a big 
tree or something in front of the window. I like the way this looks as well. I feel like it is not as um, bright and vibrant Eastery as what I normally use. This is a more subdued kind of, even though there is a little bit of color, it's more of a subdued color. And that's not usually typical for me. So I kind of actually really like the way this looks. I'm very happy with the way it turned out. You'll have to let me know in the comments what you think. And again, thank you so much for coming by. Thank you so much to Christy for once again co-hosting this monthly collab with me. I love Christy and I know that you will too. So make sure that you go visit her channel, show her some love, subscribe to her channel if you're not. And also make sure that you go watch all of the videos in the playlist. Everyone has worked hard to put this playlist together and make it a success. So I know that you're not going to want to miss any of it. And if you would like to see how I decorated my coffee bar for Easter last year, then make sure that you check out the boxes that you're going to see at the end at the end of the video on the screen. Check them out. And again, if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. So click the subscribe button, click the bell button so you don't miss any of my videos. And everybody give this video a big thumbs up. I will see you guys next time. Bye.